get the intro from the other one. I promise I'll make a better intro later. This is the intro for the Taco Block. Thunderosa eating taco. All right, guys, welcome back to the taco. My camera is not cooperating today, so I'm really close and you guys are really close to my face. Okay, there you go. Uh, we are here at... He doesn't say. It's Fiesta Cancun. There you go. Cancun Fiesta. And I have a very special guest today. Uh, somebody that, you know, you usually see her yelling at me all the time because her and her client don't like me very much but today it's not about that it's about oh, excuse me i'm deaf vicky guerrero welcome Hola. welcome to the taco vlog i'm so excited <laughs> i'm so excited you know the, the, the coolest thing is that i get to eat tacos with a latina seaway seaway si. so what's your favorite taco oh my gosh uh probably uh carnitas carnitas yeah you like chicharron i love chicharron i love uh, the steak, um, everything, chicken, pollo, whatever it is. I, I love tacos. So she loves tacos. I spicy love tacos. tacos. I can't do spicy. Did I tell you a story? Yeah, I, I told you the story like 50,000 times about Uno and I eating spicy stuff and like, fuck my stuff. She calls herself a Latina. I can't eat that. I can't eat that. But we'll see. let's get to this place. Let's order and hopefully I have some good horchata. You like horchata? Yes. Margaritas. Uh, you know what? I was cerveza. thinking actually getting a margarita. They have good margaritas here. You guys will see me, Thunder Rosa and Vicky Guerrero drinking margaritas and tacos this on a Taco be, Tuesday. This will be fun because tomorrow we're here in, um, where are we? Norfolk. Oh, Norfolk, Virginia. <laughs> Virginia. And she has training in the ring tomorrow. So we'll see. Maybe I'll videotape how she's training after the margarita and the tacos. <laughs> she's evil. She's evil. Thanks for inviting me. Thanks for coming, Vicky. What's this? This is nice. You don't get to eat Mexican food in every city. I do. <laughs> Gracias. Gracias. I'm caffeine. So. Oh, wow. Okay. Gracias. Ya estamos listos para ordenar. A mí me hace un taco de carne asada, uno, y me hace de pescado y uno de camarón. Uh, yo, yo quiero carnitas y carne asada. Ah, chorizo. Claro, va a pedir chorizo. Claro que pediste chorizo. A todas las mujeres les gusta sí. el chorizo. Sí, güey. That's, that's, that's a running joke. If you know, then you, you know. know. <laughs> so, Vicky, um, here in the taco vlog, we, you know, we talk about tacos, of course. But we also talk about any memories that you have from when you were young. Um, are you, are you, were you born in, in, in America? I was. Where? In El Paso, Texas. In El Paso. How yeah. was the, how was the breakfast tacos over there? Oh, so good. You, know, you get like these little mom and pop stores mm -hmm. and restaurants that have like the restaurants connected to the little, um, uh, Conesada, uh, Conesaria, uh, stores, you know, sí. and, um, the food is great, especially like, like Chico's Tacos, I'm sure you've heard of them. It's a huge uh, it's a restaurant coffee. chain in El Paso that mm -hmm. has like real tacos with the government cheese and uh, has like the big fries. You get a like, dinner for like under five dollars. Mm, yeah. yeah, I actually went there. The last time I was in El Paso, oh my god. <laughs> so, my, my memories of, uh, of, you know, we always had, you know, bean and, beans and cheese, you know, to eat, especially. Uh, with my grandmother, um, and yeah. his mom used to cook a lot of Mexican food, so her food was so was she, delicious. Were they, they're from El Paso too, right? They're from Mexico. What part? Parte? Um, oh, all over. Like, pero, all pero over. Eddie, de era? Oh, El Paso. El Paso? Yeah. We were born in the same hospital. Get out of here. Yeah. It how was long, fate. Uh, how old were you when you guys met? Uh, I was probably 19, a year after high school. Did he ever take you to a Mexican restaurant for dinner? When yes. you guys were dating? We always went. Oh, really? Yeah. So, like, what was the name of the, the place? Like, uh, Chico's Tacos. Chico's Tacos? That was a place, like, whenever we were drinking. And it was, like, <laughs> 3 o'clock in the morning. You could stop at Chico's and have, like, a cheap meal. Get filled up and then go home. What was the fanciest Mexican restaurant you ever take you? Oh, gosh. Um, probably Leo's in El Paso. Oh. Does it still exist or not? Yeah, it does. Yeah, I still go there. Oh. But, you know, the, the common... Um, 
comfort food for me, you know Mexican food is in El Paso is like beans and rice mm -hmm. and tacos, chili rellenos, mm. uh, tamales, especially during Christmas time. You know all the all the tias start making the tamales, tamales. Yes. you know for it to give out you know as gifts and, and also make money off of it. Um, but I still love making I, I I make some mean enchiladas at home. Ooh. I love beans and rice. Uh, I'll do uh, man I'll do like. Fajitas, you know, just like the comfort food. Chicken queso is like my favorite with the hamburger meat in it. I like make lots of jalapenos, that's my favorite. Chicken con queso, that's one thing that I noticed. You're from Texas. So in Texas, when I came, when the first time I came, I went and had Mexican American food or Tex no, Tex Mex. It has so much gravy and so much cheese. Am I right? Yeah. But I don't know why they call it gravy. Like my grandmother probably rolls over in her gravy every time she hears gravy. I'll take some gravy for the Mexican food. Like, who? This is gravy. <laughs> I say gravy. That tastes like gravy to me. Well, yeah, I know. It's not like the Mexican salsa, though, or like the like the tomatilla, you know, salsa that you can put on Mexican yes, food. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I, I don't just Like, the Tex-Mex is very different than authentic Mexican food. So can you explain to all of us ignorant people that don't know about Tex-Mex food, what is Tex-Mex food? I think Texas, well, my opinion of... Continue, continue. Oh, my opinion of Tex-Mex food is like when they make yellow rice. Like, who the hell makes yellow rice for Mexican food? Like, rice is like Spanish rice with the fresh th tomatoes tomato, tomato, and tomato. the onions and cebolla. And, um, and it's, you know, you fry the rice in the pan and you add the oil and then you put the water and it's, it's, it's from scratch. She knows how to cook. And the beans, and you put like the... How do you make your beans? I make them ranchero style. Oh, ranchero. Ranchero is like the fat, is it fat style? I call it fat style, but it's <laughs> so good. It tiene lechas tocino, chorizo. Yeah, um, uh, there's a, a, a pig's foot in there for like the, the fat and what? the seasoning. Yeah, to put the salt in it. I soak my beans overnight with a, a ham hock in it or a pig's foot in there. Oh, yeah. And it, it's, it gives the salt and the flavoring. And you put the bacon in there and it's, it's so I'm good. I'm like, Vicky, what? You put fresh jalapenos what? and the onions. A little bit of salt. I don't like a lot of salt on my food. You don't. I was, so I was like, so you don't like salt on your food. I'm like, keep, keep getting naked, guys. Sorry. It's hot in here. It's, 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 yeah. Um, I, I don't like a lot of salt because I think, I think people put too much salt on Mexican food, but I, do. I season to my liking though. But I love a lot of seasonings like, you know, pepper and the jalapenos and the yes. cayenne pepper and stuff. Going back to um, your memories when you were young and you were raised, born and raised in El Paso, right? Yes. What is one of your uh, memories from eating tacos when you were younger? Gosh, uh, that I could eat them all on my plate. I could eat everything. <laughs> I could eat, like, I always had a good appetite. I yes. mean, you know, your tias and your grandmother would sit there and go, eat everything off your plate. Like, eat everything. You know, it's what you would eat. But I, tacos are like making my own, especially with flour tortillas are oh, the best. Oh, my God. Did you know how to make flour tortillas from scratch? No. I tried. It's a lot of work. My grandmother used to make it. My favorite memory is when my grandmother used to make the fresh uh, masa and she would roll it up and she put it on the griddle and she'd make the flour tortillas. And as soon as they were hot, um, she'd give them to us, we put butter on it and oh roll it up and then eat it. Good. My mouth, as you were saying that, my mouth is like. Oh, it's the best. And the smell of the flour tortillas in the morning when you walk into your, to my grandmother's house. I'm going to cry right it was now. It's so good. And then she would always have a pot of beans because. Everyone ate beans sí, all day long. Con los frijoles, con la tortilla, yeah. ten... Ay, yeah. qué rico. And then you can mash the beans up and then put cheese and make bean and cheese burritos. Oh, qué rico. Yeah. Uh, did you ever dip? Okay, this is for all of you non uh, Hispanic people and Hispanic people. You, did you used to dip your flour tortilla on hot chocolate? ¿Qué? ¿Cómo? What the hell? What? No? What the hell? What's wrong with her? When my mom used to make tortillas, we used to make always chocolate bolita. And when they were ready, we'll like dip them on there and then like eat them. Like, como pan, pues. Yeah, no. Excuse me? No. Excuse no, me? I, I can't see no? That. no? I used to get chicken queso and you would dip the tortilla. Uh, well, yeah, that's normal, there, but you yeah. never you never did the chocolate? No. no. Hey, for all my Mexican friends out there, Todos mis tijuanenses, todos mis amigos de por allá. Ustedes metían la tortilla en el chocolate. Pongan en los comentarios aquí abajo. Put it in the comments on the bottom. Like, dude, what? I'm like, I'm... no, I can't see that. 
But a favorite um, quick meal to always make is like quick cheese and some. I love jalapenos. Like I crave salsa and chili all the time, which you can see. Yes, she asked for like the spicy one. What is this? Like ranch? It looks like ranch. This is ranch. Is that the ranch? This is weird. Who eats ranch this with is chips? Not Mexican. To a Mexican restaurant. It well, is, no. It's but it's salsa? true. No. This is ranch. This is people ask restaurant. People ask for ranch probably because of like the, the population that lives around here. I was gonna have some oh, ranch. Norfolk, Virginia. <laughs> and I don't, I don't see any. Of it. Yeah. I, um, we, the, we're the only Mexicans here. Waiter spoke Spanish. I guess we're in a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> no, what is really good? No, have, I, have you had it? Yeah, very good. Um, I think my favorite kind of meal to make like if I want a cheat meal yeah. is getting like flour tortillas and putting cheese and and fresh jalapenos on it mm. cut them up and just eat them with some sour cream and, like that's my best kind of food like to have in the middle of the night like a movie night so it's like a quesadilla con yeah. jalapenos quesadilla yeah with fresh jalapenos but rajas mm. but no son los redondos the, yeah. The, ah. yeah and cut them up and yeah I'm real simple but nothing like a good pot of beans and rice and you know or make like a, a good uh, soup like when it's cold. What is your favorite soup? I love Fidel. Uh, mine is probably a tortilla soup. Tortilla soup? Yeah. Like with chicken or beef or whatever kind of meat. How do you make it? Um, I just, uh, I'll put, um, make the, you know, put the chicken, a lot of vegetables like corn, uh, potatoes, mm -hmm. uh, base it with a, a tomato sauce, and then um, get the tortilla strips and put them in there and then put cheese on top and this so woman eating her cheese. I can't eat cheese, so it's just like every time you say cheese, I'm like, fuck. Are you like toast tolerant? I like what? Are you like toast intolerant? I had become lactose intolerant, yeah. Really? It sucks. Well, I mean, but you train a lot, though, so yeah. I mean, it probably upsets your stomach a lot. Yeah, yeah, and it upset everybody else around me. Yeah, <laughs> it's so funny whenever uh, me and Russell will be like going against each other, and she'll be in the back in Gorilla with her headphones. And she'd be like this, you, 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 <laughs> you. I'm like, I'm not going to bother her because she's focusing. Yeah. yeah. That, well, last, actually, uh, when we were doing um, full gear, I was getting in the zone. And everybody was, you know, working and stuff. And I was just, don't bother me. I need to get in the zone. Because I'm so intense when I'm out there. And then uh, and one of the things that I like when I'm with you in the, in, in, uh, in the ring is like we feed off each other. Yeah. All the time. You were like cursing in Spanish. I, just, I remember being in the corner. I turned around. Like, Guys, a pinch of your hat. The guy just took me out. It was okay. It was you know, so much fun. One thing about full gear, when we did the buy-in match, all the girls in there just really had good supportive energy. Yes. I mean, and it. Okay, so we we go against each other, and we're you know babies and heels. But at the end of the night, whenever we're working together, it's if you can support each other, not only internally but physically and emotionally. We we had a you have a good match. Yes. And I really felt good when we walked, you know, we finished that match because everybody was happy. Um, you know, we worked, y'all worked so hard. Yeah, we did. And, um, and, it, and it showed, and I think uh, it set the tone for the whole entire show. And it was an amazing show from top to bottom. Yeah. Um, but I feel like um, us being much first, it puts so much responsibility on us because if we kind of bed, it's like, mm, that show's gonna suck, you know? So, but yeah. we, we didn't, and like, I love tagging Ishida. One of my favorite people to tag with. And then we have like, our timing is actually really good when we're working together. And um, one of the things that also, it's so important to mention about Vicky, that you guys might not know, she's like the mom of the locker room. Like anytime we need anything, we go to Vicky because she will take care of it. And um, would you, were you like that when you were in the other place? No, not, uh, not really. Um, it was very different over there. Um, it's pretty much everyone kind of took care of each other. But here, my my thought and my philosophy is these women put their bodies in the ring and give 100%. And they get beat up and they get tired. And they they have a lot of pressure on them because they're not thought of as much as the men. Mm -hmm. And that's something that's very discouraging for us as women because the women deserve more time. The women deserve more uh promote promos promotions more advertising because we have some beautiful and talented women in the locker room thank you thank you i wasn't talking about you but <laughs> well but <laughs> no but <laughs> seriously i mean 
you're a fantastic wrestler. Thank you. And and very talented. And so I'm a manager that I just yet my mouth off and sometimes I have to go into a match, sometimes I get in trouble. I love when you get onto a match as though. Oh like, me too. Is it's the most fun the most fun I've seen it and uh, I wasn't there to watch it live. I I think I wasn't signed and I wasn't booked that week, but I saw you live. So I just want to say that. Continue. Oh. <laughs> Continue. Continue. Um, so if I'm able to sit at the locker room and make the day a little bit easier for the women, they have, because we have like probably 10 matches of women yes, we a do. day. Yes. So from darks to dynamite to rampage. So if I'm able to, you know, set the room up and have everything the girls might need, that I feel like I'm kind of putting my teamwork in and helping you guys out. So yeah that's always been a joy for me and to have the locker room set up i have a little ocd i'm yes, very organized very. and i'm if things aren't clean i bitch out the arena because i'm like they need to clean <laughs> these toilets because what sometimes... okay talking about that what is the worst experience because you've been doing this for a long time way longer than i am that you have been part of and you have to be like no y'all y'all gotta clean this like what city what arena i think it was um gosh Man, what arena was it? I don't even remember what arena it was. I'm horrible with cities. But there was a time when the girls were like like going to the bathroom and it was dirty and they weren't cleaning up. There's paper towels all over. And it, it's a reflection of us mm -hmm. if you leave that locker room and it's dirty. So if I just said, hey, I ain't your mom. I can I can support you. I can love you, but I ain't going to pick up And so they kind of got the idea and they started picking up. So... Yeah, that's my big pet peeve. Or when they don't, they have the trash and they keep piling it on higher and higher and see how they can toggle that last plate for the night, if it's going to fall off or not. I'm like, we just need to like push it down or you get another trash can. Like, come on, people. Let's grow up a little bit and let's dump the trash right. So <laughs> I, I like when, because I have a question about, you have two daughters, right? Mm -hmm. Were you super strict with them when cleaning? Yes. Very much so. My house is spotless. It's still spotless. It is. I've, I've given a little bit of grace to myself because I have two dogs now uh -huh. who live in the country. But I do, this is really weird, but I have to have my house clean and my laundry done before I leave for every loop. No, hey, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, just because then when I come home, then it's like double the work whenever I come home. And then and my husband takes care of a lot for me. But when we clean our house, it's very different than when a man cleans it. What's the difference? We're just like, we're thorough. Like, you know, when we say clean the bathroom, it means mop behind the toilet and you pick up everything off the floor. Then mm -hmm. you, you vacuum and you mop. And, mm -hmm. and some, my husband will just kind of mop around it and it's not very thorough. So yeah, I have my way of cleaning. We still love you guys, but you need yeah. to clean. It's, it's like I always, yeah. tell, I always tell my son. Si así limpias, si así limpias aquí, o le digo, o le digo a mi esposo, si así limpias así, ¿cómo te limpiarás la cola? <laughs> Legit. Listen. My mom used to say that to me too. When I didn't clean up, I was like, if you clean like that, the area like this, I can't imagine how you clean your ass. And I was like, oh yeah. Mom, like. Might have some dingleberries in there. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I don't know about that, but. No, but I mean. You know, when I had the girls and I was single and had the, the nanny come in, you know, I mean, the girls were old enough they could clean up, you know, for themselves. And I wanted to teach them how to take care of their own house. Not that it works out because, it did, you know, Sharon's still dirty and Shaw's dirty, but <laughs> but they have the basics that they know how to clean the house. So that's important. No, no, no. That's the most important part. And I think that every mom, every Hispanic mom, like, when you're little, that's what they teach you. And, and when uh, I remember, when I was little, my mom would say, "Si yo voy a la casa, la casa está sucia, las voy a agarrar las greñas." So one time, my sister and I, we were playing too much and we we're watching TV. My mom, we had half an hour before my mom came, and we cleaned the house. Oh, girl! I remember my head was like, <laughs> Ever since then, I was yes, always cleaning the house. Oh, look, beans and rice. Hot plate, hot plate. Yes. Thank you. Gracias. See, these are good beans, you can tell. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys. I think we've been talking for about 20 minutes and we haven't had our taco today. <laughs> but you well, know, these are good beans because they're like the refried beans. You know, have you ever had a good chile de llano? Hell yeah. So, can you tell, like, whenever we go to a Tex Mex restaurant? 
and the chili is not cooked all the way and then it, Está todo gordo and it's duro. not it's not easy to cut yes and, and the yes. egg batter doesn't fry around it that just pisses me off so i know that when a good mexican restaurant has a good chiliriano that's when it's going to uh, be good food i gotta plug in my sponsors modern wellness center guys follow them modern wellness center because they know that i love tacos <laughs> you can follow them guys he is the Modern Wellness Center, Health Performance, Recovery, and Wellness for Champions. They, gracias. Ooh. Gracias. Gracias. De nada. So, which one did you order first? Which this one is the first? chorizo. Mm -hmm. That's probably the. Wait, wait. Did you get two asadas? The carnitas. No, no, this is carnitas. Yeah, carnitas. And the other one is. Um, Carne asada. Carne asada. So I'm gonna eat the carne asada first. It has uh, purple purple onions and cilantro. The carne is actually really big. I'm gonna put a little bit of salsa. You want some salsa or no? I have some here. Mm. So I'll give you the red one. And it's corn tortilla, so it's a little healthier. Meh. Meh. I don't know what healthier part. Oh, cheers. Salud. Mm. Mm. That is, this is really good. Needs more salsa. I need guacamole. Mm -hmm. And I mean, a little more cheese. I want some cheese. Come up with cheese is huge in, in Mexican dishes, like enchiladas. No, pero es queso seco, ¿no? Or unless you do like cheese enchiladas, though. Yeah. But I mean, cheese adds a lot to everything. I make this dish at home in the mornings called uh, eggs and tortilla, which is so simple. It's, I get corn tortillas. Uh -huh. I put a little bit of like pan spray, get them soft. And then I uh, make three over easy eggs or an egg free tortilla. Yeah. And then put cheese and salsa. And then you roll them up and eat them like taquitos, and they're so good. Talking about rolled taquitos, did Eddie ever cook for you? He would grill. No, oh, really? Well, he's from Texas, so of mm -hmm. course he'll grill. He would grill like the carnitas for fajitas or like the steak for like tacos or whatever. What was his favorite dish? Oh man, he loved lasagna. What? Homemade lasagna? I make a mean lasagna. Wow. Yeah, he loved pasta, but he could never have that stuff all the time. No, because he was always, always on it. He was always diet. on the diet, right? Always. And his dessert was uh, cheesecake. So that was like his vice. And sushi was like his fun food to eat. You know, but yeah, he, we love food. He used to do a lot of tours in Japan, right? Yes. With New Japan Pro Wrestling. And um, yeah, so I was talking like to Emmy and... Uh, Shida, you know, like Black Cat in New Japan. Mm -hmm. So they were always good friends. So when we went to tour with him, uh, they would always cook us like this great food. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was so good. So we, I did like sushi a lot. La salsa le hace el paro, eh? Si no la salsa, me lo hacen. It adds a lot to it. Mm, hell yeah. Is this creamy sauce? I think it has chipotle. You, you better use it. Mm. But it's so good. You didn't tell me what was the worst stuff you ever had. The worst taco? Mm hmm Or the weirdest taco you ever had? Fish taco. What? Yeah, I, I, maybe it was the way that the restaurant had made it for me. Mm -hmm. That That's why I don't like it or I don't enjoy it. How was it? It was like a tilapia. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, it just had like a real, maybe like a fishy taste to it. And it just kind of... It didn't make me want to have any more fish tacos. And I'm sure there's some good fish tacos. You never had tacos in Ensenada, like fish tacos in Ensenada. I think if you go there, you'll change your mind. Maybe. Tell them, guys. She used to go to Ensenada and have tacos with her. But I'm a, I'm a meat person. Like, I want to have, like, a good, true taco. Like, you know, carnitas or chorizo. Of course you like chorizo. <laughs> Cochina. Well, I also make homemade salsa, which is really good. I even made some for Lance, uh, for, um, Murder Hawk, mm -hmm. Lance Archer, mm -hmm. and he says he said it still wasn't hot enough. So when we go to Garland, I'm gonna make some homemade salsa. I'll be bringing you some. Oh, Anakin is gonna love it. Anakin loves salsa. Really? 
and I, I'll put like a lot of jalapenos and I'll boil them, I'll boil the, the jalapenos, the tomato, the <laughs> onion, the cilantro, the uh, tomato, um, the uh, tomatillos. Yeah. I'll put it all together and then I'll blend it up and add all the spices. It comes out really good. Well, if, yeah. you, if you guys know, um, Vicky Guerrero can have her own uh, vlog on how to make salsas. <laughs> and I think, have you made, talking about salsa, will you make, uh, have you ever made it with, um, pineapple or mango yeah. that's one thing i was discussing with my fans is like you know how we say tacos al pastor they come with pineapple or piña in mexico kind of like a pizza and pineapple mm -hmm. they actually go so you never made any pineapple salsa no i, I don't know i don't have an interest in it. what's wrong with you because pineapple belongs on pizza not in salsa you jinx it what? The fish <laughs> It's not good. I don't know, it was something that the way that they made it that it was just like really gamey or really fishy. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> you may be a great wrestler and stuff, but I know my fish. I know my fish stories. And I should have ordered like Maybe it's, it's a sign of God telling me that I should be eating all this taco. <laughs> well, at least your side, though. But it's not. It's not. It's healthy, though. Mm. It's Aside just from the salsa. It's just. No, I'm good. Tell him and get another one. <laughs> no, it's fine. Muchas gracias, pero. Se lo agradezco, pero no. Is there anything that you like to plug in, Ricky, to our fans that are watching this vlog? Gosh, I am so proud of you for how you are just <laughs> you're always, make me cry. you're always just it, reinventing yourself. Mm -hmm. We're talking about that the way over here, that we're in such a great platform being on worldwide TV, that for us to be able to have these different platforms of, you know, your, your women's wrestling, Mission Pro Wrestling, and for you to do the taco blog and to you know, have these other projects on social media, which is a lot of work, like the content for this blog. Yes. But the only way it's going to happen is if we do it. And your energy and your and your motivation always has it in my mind. Because when I get tired at home, where I like, I don't want to do anything. I'm like, oh man, the f***ing thunder is like doing something right now. So I better like do, do, do my work. So that's that's something that, you know, we, we push each other. Yes. I think that's really important. when. Excuse me, when we're working together in the ring, if you're working hard and I'm working hard, there's going to be an end result that's going to make the women's division or just the women's platform, period, be noticed more and more exposed to the public eye. Yes, that's 100%. And I want to say thank you, Vicky, because you've been one of the most welcoming people in the locker room to absolutely everybody. I mean, that includes signed and unsigned talent. And, uh, and not just because you have the Guerrero last name, you know, didn't mean that you didn't struggle in the business. I think you guys need to understand this is one of the hardest working women here and she's not here for herself or saying like, oh, you know, I'm not going to wear around. like, you do whatever I want. She leads by example. And I think we need more people like her in in the different locker rooms and the different companies that we work for because with people like her, like, you know that she's straight and, and, and you know she's not, you know, you know. Kind of like the cheese and the cheese me. So, um, but, you know, also when you say that, I, because I'm, you know, I have the last name Guerrero. Yeah. After Eddie passed, I did carry the Guerrero name, but it was up to me to make something of myself yes. and not just depend on that name. Yes. So that was something that was important. And I didn't learn that for many years. So I think the last eight years, I've really started thinking, what am I going to do longevity? What am I going to do after wrestling? And so, like, you know, with my book and Twitch and, Everything that, she does that TikTok, we do guys. in my podcast, yes, it's these are things that are going to pay off for us in the long run, where we can sit at home and retire and have all these other things to keep working for us. Yes, yes, so, yes, yes. Yeah. So you want half my chili? No, I, just take a bite. We'll half it because it's a lot. Because she likes chili so too. She's like, you want half of my chili so the first thing that I you don't want to know what I was thinking when when you said that. I, all yeah, right. Yeah, just so we can taste it. Let's see. And then we'll rate it. Mm. Oh, that day. Just chorizo is clean. Oh my god. Actually, it is. 
because there's Chinese one that's like really fatty mm. and greasy. Mm. This one is really good though. Yeah, it is. It is absolutely real though. All right. Well, let's rate this tacos, baby. How do we rate your carne de taco? Just one of the tacos? No, we're ready to hold the tacos. Um, ten being the best. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm gonna give this a eight because of the rice and the fish taco, and the salsa could be a little bit hard, uh, hotter, just a little bit because you don't put ranch on the table and call it salsa. <laughs> hey, this is another state <laughs> because. I'm here with my full heart support for Rosa. She came in. She, she didn't. Get, she didn't dip the ranch in there, but um, I will say the carne asada was good. I will give it an eight. It's it's been like across the board eights everywhere. I, I'm gone. I've gone. Um, the shrimp was an eight. The, the the fish taco. Well, you guys know I didn't even finish, so um, I'm not gonna write it. Um, the water, as you can see, it finished. It was it had cinnamon in it? It was so, so good. It was really good. The chorizo taco, I put a 10. You love the chorizo. It's really good. Really That's a good 10. And the carnitas was 10. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Chips are good. They're fresh. Everything the was beans good. are really good. The beans were good. Yeah. And not only beans. So again, uh, Vicky, thank you so much for being here today and eating tacos and sharing some of the, your memories of you being young and you know being a woman, you know, cooking for, uh, for Eddie uh, <laughs> and also just for just being part of this and um if you want to follow vicky where the, should they follow you oh gosh uh there's twitch at vicky guerrero and instagram at guerrero underscore vicky uh twitter at vicky guerrero oh and my website is at vicky guerrero.net only do fans a, <laughs> a scrapbook a scrapbook only fans guys and on my twitch, i just opened up my scrapbook page so you can follow along and we can scrapbook together and don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and uh, get the subs when you subscribe, get that uh, notification button. So when we come out on every, I was gonna say podcast, and every um, blog, you can be one of the first watching it. Don't forget to follow our sponsors, the Wellness Center, and I'm gonna repeat again their information. Follow the Modern Wellness Center, guys. And they're like official sponsors for the Taco Blog. And don't forget every Wednesday. AW, TNT, Rampage of TBS uh, on Fridays. Mondays and Tuesdays, we are in Dark and Elevation, or vice versa. But just follow us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, comment. So comment. And uh, don't forget to keep giving us places where to go, because this is the only reason why I find Mexican restaurants all over the country. And I'm still in the search of the best taco in the United States. I'm not talking about the world, but in the United States. So no sin, don't be tripping. Have you found one yet? As of right now, like who's your favorite so far? No, I have not. Really? I have not found it yet. It's like a unicorn. When I find the unicorn, I'm gonna hold on to it forever. I think the unique one's gonna be on a beach, like <sighs> tropical, where they have like tacos and oh on the island. God, yes. Yeah. By the time I'm gonna be Thunder Gorda. <laughs> so, <laughs> no. she, runs all, she runs like 10 miles a day there's Dude, no way after this i'm probably gonna go to the gym so thank you very much for joining us thank you very much for joining us guys don't forget to follow subscribe follow her stuff and uh i'll see you guys on the next taco adventure thank you uh, see you. bye guys